everybody and welcome back to more rem 3 before we get started today i've got a bit of an announcement to make um some of you guys noticed that this video was uploaded a day later and that's for two reasons i wanted to finish the portal 2 lp first and get that vi footage off my hard drive but the second reason is because I've actually had some issues loading my games um, for some odd reason. I don't know why, but it only seems to affect the most recent saved game. So unfortunately, I actually had to go back and play through the first part all the way over again, which thankfully wasn't too bad since I didn't really do much. But just FYI, a lot of the combination locks and stuff that I was fooling around with in the first video have now been reset. So when you go back and see them, you're not going to see all the stuff that we were fooling around on them earlier, like in the apartment building and all that stuff. So that's just basically the only thing. But I'm going to try to double save my games now and just see if that helps. I'm hoping that it won't be an issue, because I'd really rather record this in chunks than all at once. But I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started today by going through the north door here in the lamps room. Because we haven't been through this one yet. We've been through all the other ones. Uh, we just came from that one. But we have not been through the north door yet. So let's go ahead and check it out. And this room is really giving us the runaround with all these lamps. You know, I was actually legitimately stuck on this when I first played the game, because I didn't even realize that this was a button. I guess because the lamp was coming out of something that looks just like it, so I figured, oh, that's just for decoration. You know, I didn't realize that it was even a button. But it is a button. And we can see where we were exploring last video, as well as those windows there. Alright. Oh, we get a nice light show here. Or at least a light turning on. And now this is very important to note. I, I didn't notice this when I first played the game. Or on my second uh, journey through the game a few years later. Um, there is a door here. Which you really can't notice unless you're just looking really carefully at the top when you turn to your sides. We got two of these doors and I want to check them out before we go any further. They lower down some ladders for us and... Here, we've got the other side of that door we were looking at from the bunker area. Now, I actually want to go over here because remember, toward the end of the last video, we closed that door that we could control with that button that didn't automatically close. Aha! We've got something. It's a paper with three triangles, all within red squares. And each triangle has lines on it. Um, this one in the middle has a question mark uh, next to it, which is interesting. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and say this right now because I figure this is worth reviewing. I'll, I'll go ahead and spoil this. This puzzle that these clues here are for, that we will be finding them throughout the, the LP, this is a bonus puzzle at the end of the game. You don't actually have to do it to beat the game. But you know how we do things here on this channel. We try to find every nook and cranny possible. So I'm going to go through and find all the clues necessary to solve the bonus puzzle. And that's the first one. So we'll be on the lookout for more of these in the future. Alright, well this button makes this light go green, which seems to power something over there. But we haven't even been there yet. Um, the lights are turned off. I guess they only turn on when we turn our head that way. But for now, I want to check out the other side. I guess these open at the same time? Interesting. Alright, well, there's no door that we can open from here. I think this was the one that was broken from the other side. But we can look over this way. We have a building here that we haven't visited yet. The lock doesn't work, but it's connected to some kind of panel where we can press um, different buttons. There's these square buttons that are colored and these triangle-shaped ones. And it looks like we have to press them alternating different sets of buttons. So we'll have to figure that out here once we get the combination. There's one more ladder to look at. It's this one. And we can see that archway that we viewed from the bottom earlier, where we found that dial that we could turn. And we got another one of these dials here. 
And once again, the bridge is raised when the dial is set to a certain spot, in this case, northwest. I'm just going to turn it back to north at starting point, but it's another clue for something we'll undoubtedly need in the future, so let's make note of it. But for now, let's finally go down the passage we came to investigate, which is this one. Well, this is locked. But it seems to be an elevator of some sort. Can we send it down? No, okay, we cannot. Well, from here we got some controls and a couple of places we can look at. So let's look at the places before we do anything with that elevator. We've got another tree here. We got a short, long, and a long tones there. And there's where we were walking earlier. What's over here, though? We got a drawbridge. No controls for the drawbridge that we can see, though, but we got a hatch. And this hatch appears to be what that wire that we activated earlier is connected to. And we can lower the drawbridge here. And from up here, we can see down into the elevator shaft. Now note that earlier we could not lower the elevator, but we saw a button down there to raise the elevator. So, now that we've lowered this drawbridge, I have to wonder what would happen if we were to approach the elevator from downstairs while it's in this position. It's worth a look at least, let's check it out. Also, I haven't really looked at what these leaves are. We know that leaf A was the first one we got. The one we just got was C, and the one we got by the hand thing there in the bunker area is E. So, I will be using that letter system to keep track of them. But, unfortunately, going through the elevator again means that we've got to go through this lamps room yet another time. Yeah, like I said, I really am not a big fan of this puzzle. And it's not even a puzzle, I mean, I, I don't even consider this a puzzle, this is just plain grunt work. But it only takes 15-20 seconds, so I guess that's not too bad. Alright, well, let's see what's over here now that we lowered or raised the elevator. And we don't want to lower it because then that's just going to bring it back down. But there is something here. There's a ladder. Cool. Now this is interesting. We've got some kind of pipe or something coming up here. And there's a panel that we can see here on the other side. We've also got controls for the elevator. And we can lower the elevator. That's cool. Can we raise it? Of course. Okay, that's good to know. We've also got a diagram here that shows a line extending across the sides of the elevator, as well as some buttons. We don't really know which of these we should press, but it looks like these, this is not a combination lock. We can just toggle them on and or off. And it appears that the diagram is referring to this doorway, because I think that's the only doorway. Well, no, this, there's this one, too. But this one actually has doors. And if this line is what I think, or means what I think it means, then it seems to indicate that we can hold these doors open somehow. There's a, another green wire that comes through here. But none of those buttons work. Now, it looks like there's supposed to be something we can look at through that hole there. So let's raise the, uh, the elevator so we can hopefully see what's there. There's a button. Aha! We've got our solution for the button puzzle. Okay. 
Alright, so we'll press this, 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 and that. So now, let's see what happens when I press this. There we go. It opens this, but at the same time, it allows us to keep this door open, as the diagram indicates. So why is this important? I mean, we could have just opened this door earlier just by virtue of pressing that button and kept this closed. I, I didn't actually show that, but that is the case. So what's the advantage of opening this door up? Well, remember, we have a panel in here, and we haven't seen this yet. But if there is something that we're supposed to see behind it, then it's certainly not something that we can view in this state where uh, everything's all opened up. It has to be something where the elevator is lowered, where we can't really see what's on the other side of this wall. Because remember, when this is down, we can't push this button. So, doing this is really the only way all these conditions can be fulfilled. Now, it looks like we've got another elevator shaft here, so now that that's open, let's see if we can actually use this. Well, right now, it appears to be in the up position. Alright, so we've got some buttons we can play around with here. Let's check this out. Okay, well we've got a clue here on the wall. We've got a blue square, a right triangle, a green square, a left triangle, a green square, a right triangle, and a yellow square. This looks like it could come in handy for that combination lock we were looking at earlier. Um, down by the, um, the second of those uh, dial rooms. Alright, um, I'm actually going to go back and do that before I do anything else. Let's just go ahead and take care of that. Unfortunately, we cannot go back through there, so we're going to try have to go all the way around again to make this work. But, at least it'll allow me to show you the kind of... Um, low frame rate animation used to lower the elevator while the door is open, so that's cool. But let's go ahead and head back through the lamps room and check out that door and unlock it just so we can see what's back there. And once again, we'll do this business here. It looks like. Oh, okay, wait. Let's see if it actually follows the... No, oh, man, I was hoping it would go the other way in order. That would have been great. That would have been amazing. It was just one off. And what am I doing? I'm supposed to go through the north door. That... Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Okay, let's do this again. I'm making this way harder than it needs to be. Okay, this one. The nice thing is that when you get to the point where you have less lamps to click on, you can pretty much narrow down, you know, what there is left. So that's always nice. Okay, first things first, let's go back here and unlock the door. Okay, and the combination was blue, right, and then green left, green, right, and then yellow. Alright. That is always a nice sound. And here we get one final um, dial. At least I think this might be the final one. There might be a fourth one. I can't remember off the top of my head. But this does the same thing the others do. Cool, cool, cool. There's nothing else to see here though, so let's go ahead and head back. So I want to continue investigating the elevator area and see if we can find anywhere else to go. The Remians must be pretty energy efficient to keep at least these lights off when we're not here. Oh, right, we're going to have to do this business all over again, aren't we? Oh, well, we'll go ahead and 
circle back around again. It's kind of weird though because that's like the only place in all these games where the lights turn off and on depending on where you or if you're there or not. Like I can't really think of anywhere else where that happens. I mean all these lights are always on. In REM 2, every single light was always on. Like I don't think there was ever a place where the lights were off. Whoops. There may have been one or two places where you had to turn them on. But that's actually something that you did because you have to provide the power. Like the, the blue grotto, I think that's the one I was thinking of. The blue grotto, I think that's the only place where you turn the lights on, but that's something you do. It's not something that automatically happens by virtue of you being there. So, yeah, I really don't know what's up with that. Alright, well now that we've pretty much exhausted everything over here. Let's see if there's anywhere else we can go using that circular elevator platform. And I almost pushed that up button, or the down button, so that would have been bad. But let's lower this again, just so we're all set for whenever we get to that panel. And this time I'm going to see if we can go up any further. Alright. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually an extra floor that you can get to, and this is something that I didn't realize because I wasn't really thorough in experimenting with this. But, I believe... No, not that. There we go. Yes, there are two platforms here. And I think if we go all the way up to the top, we'll reach a much shorter dead end than that lower level we were just at. Yeah, here we go. This is all that's here. And we can see out into the area where we were earlier. But down here, we've got a few things we can look at. We've got a painting of a ladder inside some red tunnel area. And there's something on the back of it. There's three circles, and each of them have dots at various points. Well, somehow that's going to be useful, I'm sure. But this is the panel we've been looking for, and here we've got three more. We got three more of these circles. They're different ones, though. Interesting. All right. Well, that's all we can see here. So let's head back down and explore the. I guess technically it's the third level, because the second level is where we start, and then the first level is where that uh, combination lock clue is. And we got another tree here. So long, long, short. Okay, and we've got quite an interesting area in front of us here. Let's go down and take a look. Well, we can get down, but we can't really get any farther. Let's see if that button upstairs does something. I really like how the sun just shines kind of back... It sort of backlights this. Like, you you can't see the sun on this side, but you can see it hit all this, and the ladder even... Blind. Like, I love that. that. That's great attention to detail. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, this bridge here goes up and down. And it looks like it when it's down it covers up this uh, manhole type thing here. And whenever we can climb through that we can climb up it to the fourth story of this building. But right now we can't really use it that way because we need to lower it down as a bridge, not a ladder. Interesting though. Well, what have we got over here? We've got a gate. Not one that we can open, though. Um, I'll check that out in a minute, but I'm actually going to look inside the building first. Hmm. Well, this is connected to the outside. 
It looks like it should control this ladder thing. It doesn't seem to lead to anything else, but it doesn't work. There's another ladder there. A door that doesn't open. But we can use this ladder to climb to the second story of the building. We can also see a really big gap here that we can't cross. As well as another purple wire, at least part of the purple wire, and it goes into this area where we have to put a puzzle piece. So maybe that's why it doesn't work, is because right now we don't actually have that piece with us. We also can't do anything here either, so we're just going to have to go back down. Well, the only other option available to us is through this hole. But, we're going to check this out in the next video, guys. So, until then, thank you guys a bunch for watching. This has been fun to do. I really enjoy these sorts of relaxing Let's Plays. They are fun to make, and I hope they are fun to watch, too. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button below the video, and I will see you on the flip side. So, thank you once again. Take care, and I will catch you then.